Welcome to episode 178, where we catch and cook and have a beach to ourselves in Northern Thailand. On our way to the Surin Islands. Got a fish, everyone! Yay! So he's got himself a nice little tuna. We will have that for lunch today. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? The lead just got a fish. This isn't our favourite fish. Uh, it's a mac tuna, but we did pee, but we're going to eat it. They're, they're okay when they're fresh, so. Oh! <laughs> I am just building it up as we speak, and the rod's going off again. Let's try and fix my hair. Nah, it's unfixable. Sorry, guys. Rod is going off. Oh, here we go. Has been a while since he's caught a decent sized fish, hasn't it, Lily? He's got a nice technique there going, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him bringing it in. Work those arms, baby. You wake up, though. Haven't got any fish, and we got two in the last 10 minutes. <laughs> and I are on our way over, we're at the Surin Islands and uh, look at this place, this is beautiful. The girls are going to sup over, Taz and I are going over to uh, find somewhere to light a fire, a cook up first, from uh, a bit of fresh tuna catch. Tars in the fire pit at the moment. He's shredding a bit of cardboard down. Bella and I are just ravaging around the beach and getting whatever sticks and twigs and logs and bits and pieces we can find. We're going to have ourselves a little fire shortly. How is this place? This is amazing. Look at this joint. We're the only people in this whole bay, and we just I don't know we had a pick from about five or six little sandy spots like this. Look at we choose this one. This one's going to cook up a storm. I've got a feeling. What's in here? my face. They're throwing sticks at me, they're trying to scare me. It worked. That's cool in here. It's gonna be the shame if it gets too hot. You are the peace I know when I'm feeling alone, no other place I go. Just keep leading me home, you are the peace I know. And I'm never too far gone You are the peace I know When I'm feeling alone, no other place I go Just keep leading me home, you are the peace I know 
And I'm never too far gone Hi there, Mr. Henry Krabs! All I want is just your loving conversation I keep running cause you're filling me with patience You're in nothing, I can trust in what you're shaping and uh, we found a couple of uh, friendly hermit crabs. We've named them. This one's Harold. And he's got a friend over there called Harriet. But look at you, hey? You're super friendly. <laughs> oh. Super friendly and do you bite me? I'm going to put you down because you clearly don't want to be held anymore. I'm going to put uh, old Harold back down with his friend because uh, he doesn't want to be held. He's left me uh, a nice little souvenir on my finger there, a little hole. Oh, pierce my finger. <laughs> Meanwhile, the fire has produced some perfect coals for our potatoes and sweet potatoes. Oh, that's hot. Is she hot, baby? Just put the GoPro too close, I would have melted. <laughs> Can't get much better than this. Smoke in your face. Cooking potatoes, mate. <laughs> that's yeah, what a hoodie tail's for. What have we got there, sweetheart? All right, we've got some uh, tuna that we cooked nice and fresh. We ate the other one. We caught two. We ate one already. Um, this one's going to go straight in the fire and we're going to make some fish tacos. So all I did was squeeze some lime juice on it. Straight in there. Didn't really chop it real well. <laughs> so <laughs> rustic. <laughs> Usually I chop it up. And yeah, then look. throw her in there. She'll be right. Throw it in there. It's pretty hot. Give that a few minutes and we'll turn it on over. Just waiting for our fish to get cooked on the fire. Just put it on the pan. It's going to take a few more minutes. Not ready yet. Cameraman's a little premature. So I'm just flipping it over. Do the other side. Beautiful! Lime and fresh tuna, you just can't beat it. Got a couple more to cook, but we'll let that side sizzle and cook all the way through and chuck it on a taco. Pretty hot out here and a nice little refreshment just before we get into our fish tacos. Just a little bit of fresh lime. Squeeze that in there. Oh, a little bit more in this one. Oh, there we go. Little nip of vodka. And uh, I just do a little bit of sparkling over the top of that. That one's a little bit burnt, collapsed. She's all good. All right, guys, lunch is ready. So I've got some tomato, avocado, onion, lime juice, coriander, little concoction here. And we've got some sunflower sprouts, tacos, fishes underneath, a bit of lime, mayo, cheese, and some salsa. Mighty crunchy there, darling. Mm. Tiny bit of fish. Get into the fish, Bell. There's plenty of it. Then you're going to whop some cheese on there. Not a sneeze. Daddy's itching to get in here. <laughs> Shaking his leg and everything. Put that in there. Sit that there for a second. 
<laughs> How is it? Bloody beautiful. This is what cruising is about. This is why we do what we do. Fresh fish on a beach with your family, fire, a few spuds for later on if we get a little bit peckish. There's no other boats in this little bay here. Pretty much nearly the most northern part of Thailand you can get to on the west coast and uh, it's so magical. One island away from Burma. Don't touch anything now. Good job, man. First time flying. Are you doing alright? How'd he go? You did pretty good, eh? Nice job, Patrick. He wasn't sure about bringing the landing home, but he, he done alright there. Yeah, they got a little bit hungry again. So she just got one of the potatoes off the fire and had some salad and... Bob's your uncle. Have you heard that saying before? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think I am a little bit of a type, do I? <laughs> I don't say it ever. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> right now.